I'm Jonas Otsuji. Welcome to all the sexy Survivor fans. Thank you for joining me. And I have a super duper special guest, dear friend of mine, this season of Survivor Co Rong, Jennifer Lanzetti. Hello. <laughs> well, I had a chance to interview you of what your favorite foods were. Yes. So you, you did. said halibut. Yes. And all you said was like, I like citrusy stuff. Sure, I love I love a good citrusy kind of sweet and savory sauce. Oh man, I must have read your mind. Because <laughs> I'm gonna go coconut, mango, oh, kind of like a lime lemon thing. Well, I tend to follow a paleo diet. <laughs> Pal- Not a hundred percent. I love potatoes. I love rice. Yeah. But you do CrossFit, Mary Jane? I love. Yes, I love okay. CrossFit. That's for some reason favorite. that kind of goes hand in hand. It does. Yeah, it yeah. does. I mean, if you want to perform well, you have yeah. to feed your body well. So absolutely, Paleo and CrossFit go very right well. on. Right on. <laughs> cool. So this is pretty much Paleo friendly, other very. than the rice. Sure. sure. But since you're with me, you have to eat rice. Absolutely. You know, because kind of a given. <laughs> Japanese people have to eat rice with every meal. Just <laughs> if you don't, you could be disowned. Oh, you're outed. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So, okay, let's get started here, okay. Jennifer. We have fresh halibut here. Looks delicious. And um, we don't take off the skin. Okay. I'm not sure if you're cool with that. No, but... so tell me why. I'm not sure why. Okay, so it's all about contrast and texture, right? Okay. So this would just be kind of soft and flaky okay. and one dimensional as far as texture. Mm-hmm. But if you keep the skin on, then we can crisp it up and then it has like crispy and then the soft. Oh, so, okay. Okay. you know what that I'm saying? Good. Okay, so what we do is uh, cut that in half. Okay. And so instead of frying it, because frying kind of dries out the whole thing. Sure. We're going to steam it first and okay. then just finish it in the pan oh, that's to a great crisp idea. up the skin. Okay. So. You said you like broccoli. I do. I love broccoli. Here we go. Broccoli. Put that in there. Okay. And then watch. I'll show you a little tr- a little Asian trick. Okay. So stock in first. Okay. And then we're going to put these right on top of the bed. Okay. And we put the fish right over the broccoli. Oh, with skin facing up? Yes. Okay. Skin facing up. Okay. Because we're going to fry that later. Okay. So we want it to be cooked evenly. So the bomb's going to cook a little more. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. So boom. Put boom. that on there, and then cover. Now you're getting Italian. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Oh, I got exactly. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna let that steam for, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just squeeze some limes for me? Of course. Okay, cool. So squeeze that okay. in there, okay. and then yeah. I'm gonna cut this. This is um. Oh, what is that? Watercress. Oh, nice. Okay. And so um, it was actually growing. Oh, nice. So we, we like fresh Absolutely. Produce. <laughs> Wild. I love There's, co-op uh, gardens. You know, neighborhood co-op gardens where you absolutely. volunteer your time for a few hours a week and then you yeah, get yeah, to yeah. enjoy the bounty of the harvest. That's really so brilliant. are you kind of like a... Um, like a granola, is that? I, a, I am. I'm a yeah. yoga bending, granola eating, tree hugging, and kissing. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Although there's a few things I enjoy that do have a carbon footprint. You know, I love my motorcycles. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I love my sports cars. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so check this out. We're going to make like a special Jennifer sauce. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so we put garlic in there. Okay. And we'll put watercress, the lime juice, and then we're gonna do some serrano chilies. Are you oh, cool great. with the heat? Absolutely. Or? No, okay. I love spicy. Spicy is okay, probably my favorite distinction in food. You seem like a spicy, I am you a little know, spice, a little spicy, firecrackery little spicy. kind of person. <laughs> so that's perfect. Okay, so we take this, put that together with our um, garlic there. Okay. Cut those tips off. We'll put two since you like spice. Okay. And then we're going to combine all this in our blender. Oh, great. You're over there. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Just because we want to, you know, get a little bit of a pungent <laughs> kick to it, put a little bit of ginger in okay. there. Okay. This is so exciting. I mean, this is truly extraordinary cooking. Thank I'm you. Kind of well, don't, about this. don't get too excited because we haven't tasted it yet. Okay? <laughs> but it's TV, so if it tastes like doo doo, just. I'll fake it. Just be like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so can you pour like a, about a cup of oil in sure, there? Sure, absolutely. Okay. And then, okay, good. Okay. Okay, perfect. I'm going to throw all this other stuff in here. Okay. And because, so we have a pretty thick chunk of halibut, 
So we're going to really over salt the sauce. Okay, with, and not salt the halibut. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So that it kind of all gets in there, okay? Okay, so we're good. Normally, like some chefs get all persnickety and they start like I love that straining. Word. We don't strain, we just... Oh no, I want all of it. I don't want to lose want any fiber the, or flavor. We want all the chunky flavor. goodness. Okay. So we're going to do our coconut mango sauce. Coconut mango sauce, yeah. I love it. And then I just oh, that's a good technique. Go like I like that. that. Like an avocado even. Mm -hmm. mm. So I just kind of... Score it. Score it like that. Okay. Like that, and then you take this baby, and then just scoop oh, it up. That's so much like easier that. than peeling it. Yeah. So just like that. Can I try a piece? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's nothing then. like Cambodia, though. Yeah. Sorry, that's really fresh up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I'm gonna just squeeze this baby oh, the, in here, and then prevent the seeds from getting exactly. in. Exactly. Like and then a bowl helps because then you don't have to run to the garbage can. Oh, sure. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Um, so we'll put that in and we'll, that'll, that'll be our little sauce. Okay. And then we're going to throw a little bit of ginger in there. So okay. can you take that over to our blender yes, and I we'll can. just blend that puppy up? Okay. Thank you. Okay, right. so can we just put our little mango? Sure. So ginger, we got a. Uh, the juice of um, half a lemon okay. in there. So let's go a half cup of water. Okay. So the, the mango is obviously sweet. Sure. And uh, we have the um, the lime, which is sour. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, coconut cream in there. Okay. Let's go like a quarter cup of okay. coconut cream. So does the coconut cream, I obviously I think it thickens it a little as well. Yes. Oh yes, my gosh, exactly. it looks almost like You want to stick your finger in there yes. and yeah. Absolutely. That's how we do it. Oh my gosh, that's dessert. That's <laughs> dessert is served. Awesome. Our fish, it's already like par cooked, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's it's almost ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is just How can you tell it's ready? Um, I, being so but is there like I, a feel I, I feel it, you okay. know what I mean? And you kind of listen to this little voice inside of your heart, <laughs> and it just tells you. Okay, what so. was that? I didn't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to my good ear. <laughs> okay, so hot pan, medium high. Okay. 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 And then we just put a little grapeseed oil. Be generous. And then we just kind of coat the whole pan like this. Okay. So we're going to take the uh, fish off of here okay. and just put it on our little plate here like that. Okay. Okay. And then our, see our broccoli? Our broccoli is all oh, steamed at the same time. Oh, it's beautiful. So I'm going to take that off too. Mm. You want to get the skin nice and dry. Okay. Because it crisps up better and it won't stick to the pan. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. You just let it kind of absorb. And then just peel it off and see how it's all nice and dry. And oh, that, oh yeah, it's yeah. very sticky. Yep. Okay. And then we just come to our hot pan. Yeah. So we just, we're just going to do the skin. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. We're just going to fry the skin. Okay. Just going to fry the skin and get that baby nice and uh, crispy. Okay. So let's, let's talk like comfort food. What is okay. your go-to, like if I were to die, after this meal, what right. would it oh, be? Yeah. Hot roast. Hot Every roast. Okay. hot roast with gravy, delicious gravy, mashed potatoes, and glazed carrots. Nice. That is, that's one of those Sunday meals you have with your family. Because I think there's something food does that brings people together. Right? Yeah, we yeah, really yeah. know that. There's For sure, yeah. something about breaking bread around yeah. the table. But what it really comes down to is who you're sharing that plate with. Oh, for so sure. the foods I enjoy the most are my best memories from childhood with my parents. Nice. So. Uh, you know that's funny because we're very okay. similar. That yeah. Way. Right. Some of my fondest memories were like, yeah, just eating good food with my grandma, my parents, sure. my friends. So every night we sat down to dinner. Every nice. single nice. night, whether it was steak and potatoes, a whole rack of ribs, yeah, 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 and, yeah. you know, scalloped potatoes, or we had shrimp, spaghetti, peaches, and pork chops. If we had a gourmet meal every single night. 
And I love food yeah, so yeah. much. I mean, if I had a choice between food and sex, <laughs> it's obviously a tough call, Jordan. It really is. But I, I absolutely love food. And so my mom would be in the kitchen, but my dad would be in there as well. He nice, would cook and nice. he would help or she would cook and he would help and it was yeah. this brilliant symbiotical relationship they had. Yeah. And so I started learning how to cook when I was young too. It's was like, Mom, Ooh. teach me because one day I want to eat when you're not around. That is awesome. <laughs> that I'm so similar. Okay, so here we go. Watch this. Okay. So you just want to um, you want to kind of check this puppy. Okay. See how oh, it's nice amazing. and golden brown yes. like that? Yes. That's ready to go. Okay. Now, so, why don't you sear all the sides? Is it to because, keep the integrity of the fish, or? Yeah, because all the other sides are pretty much cooked. Okay. And so we're just crisping up the skin, just to get that contrast and texture. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we'll come over here, and then just look, look at that. Oh. <laughs> See that? <laughs> now how it's nice and crispy. And I'm gonna feel. Okay. Yeah. Just give a little flick. Okay. Oh, very crispy. Yeah, baby. Okay. Perfect. Boom. So we'll make a nice little circle, like so. Okay. Just like that. And then we take some of this coconut cream. Just put it right in the middle, just like that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And what a contrast in flavors. Yes. Put the broccoli down here. So, just put a little bit right there, like that. Okay. We're gonna take our nice, beautiful, oh, like crispy. It. It's perfect. Halibut there. Just put that right on top of that baby. Okay. And then we get our. Oh yeah, we got the rice. Our rice here. Rice. So we put a little uh, bowl or a lot. I like a lot of rice. I like a lot, it's yeah. not full around here. Okay. <laughs> So we go like that, put that on and just flip that puppy over. Okay. See how oh, it's beautiful nice and, mound. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So we go like that. Boom. Get a little bit of this beautiful stuff here. So we'll just put a little bit on the top oh, like there it. like That's that, perfect. you know? It does. It adds a lot of depth to the meal. Okay, a little more sauce, because I hate it when they don't put enough sauce. I agree. It should come with a side of sauce. Yes. <laughs> so sauce. Okay. And then let's sauce it up on the top, too. Let's just kind of go boom, boom. Oh, my God. Are you ready? Can we eat, please? Yeah, so let's <laughs> take crazy. these plates. Let's go have a seat on okay. uh, our little area here. And okay. Let's talk food. Okay. Let's okay, cool. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I've been ready. I've been ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. you make sure you get a lot of that sauce mm -hmm. on there. Mm. That is extraordinary. Thank you. I was taught to not talk with my mouthful, but I had to tell you. <laughs> That's extraordinary. Okay, I want to try you. some of the skin. Mm hmm. With the halibut, because I have to part. say, this is I've never done that before. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. So, do you need a little more sauce on that? I think I need. I would some love more some sauce. more sauce. Yes. yes. Where do you want it? All over the fish. All over. All over. Yeah. We're going from presentation let's just, to let's just, just indulging. Yeah, it's just right. all about the flavor. Absolutely. Let's not try to get cute here. <laughs> okay. Oh, sauce. perfect. Yep. So you oh, inspired yeah. me to cook my meat more authentic. Just cook it, broil it, steam it, fry it, whatever it takes. But then make sauces to go with it. So, yes. I mean, it, this is perfect. Awesome. Because awesome. honestly, I work 60, 70 hours a week yeah. on a normal basis. So you go home, you just, you make the meat, you make your vegetables, you're done. So what's, what does a normal day of eating look like for you? So normal, um, in the morning I'll have like an almond yogurt with okay. some homemade granola. So like low fat Greek, what are we talking about? No, I like high fat. Um, okay. So I love nuts like almonds and walnuts yeah. and things. So I make my own homemade yogurt, homemade granola. Lunch is probably grilled chicken salad. And then for dinner, I indulge. I have potatoes or rice nice, nice. and usually just vegetables. I mean, I don't like to eat meat in every meal. Yeah, yeah. And not even every day. Uh -huh. So. And so, like, how many hours a day do you work out? 
I actually only work out about three days a week. Three days a week? Mm-hmm. Wow. Three days a week for 30 minutes. Really? Yes. I mm. mean, people see a, a, a beautiful body or someone yeah, that's yeah, really yeah, fit yeah. and they think, oh, she must work out a lot. Actually, 80% of why I look the way I do and feel the way I do is because of what I eat. It's so completely diet yeah, related. Yeah, yeah. I, mm. My career has taken me in places that working out hours a day is just not possible. Yeah. yeah. But I do spend a lot of time with my food. Okay. So... I'm going to have okay. another bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. I'm going to have another bite, too. This is killing me. Okay, here we go. Mm-mm-mm. So, favorite dessert? Mm. The list of what I want for dessert that I yeah. don't like is much shorter than the list of what I do love. Nice. You know, you're going to laugh because it's so simple and primitive, but donuts. Donuts, donuts okay. Donuts are yeah. my favorite. I yeah. can't eat just one donut. It's like yeah. five. Five. I'm not okay, kidding. Yeah. So are you kind of like an all or nothing kind of person? I, you might have noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm the same way. Everyone lives on a spectrum. Yes. I live on the, the spectrum of extreme passion and extreme love. Yes, yes, versus yes. Versus the domicile boring. You're, yeah, you, you don't even <laughs> understand what it means to like nibble. No. It's just like... <laughs> Just gorge exactly. or nothing, yeah, right? Yeah, which are nothing. And all kinds of things, yes. I had cancer, as yeah, you know, yeah. when mm-hmm. I was very young. Who knows how long I had it? I went through multiple surgeries. Found out when I was 24, 23 yeah. or 24, they told me. Went off the deep end of engaging in behavior that definitely didn't help. But when I recovered, when I had my hysterectomy, mm-hmm. I realized that something I was doing was wrong. Mm-hmm. And I needed to fix it. And so I met a woman the, literally the very next day. You know, I, I spoke to our creator and said, you know, what did I do and, and how could I prevent this from happening again? And she happened to be a food nutritionalist. Wow. And I just learned about the dangers um, associated, you know, some body types can't handle certain things. So I learned about blood type diets. Yeah, and yeah. I learned so much. And I realized for me, my body doesn't like wheat. It just doesn't like grains, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but like what happens too. when you eat the grains? So it's not an allergic reaction. You know, it's not hives or shortness of breath, right. but I'm very uncomfortable. I get puffy and my stomach hurts. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just generally uncomfortable. Yeah, and yeah. I love food way too much, so it was really hard to give up dairy and wheat yeah, in the yeah, same yeah, year. Yeah. But as soon as I did, I lost 20 pounds. I have wow. kept it off since then. I've literally been the same size for 13 years now. Wow. Regardless of how much I work out, I might yeah, fluctuate yeah. A pound or two. Cool. So I just realized, okay, if eating this, I enjoy it for five minutes, but it makes me feel uncomfortable for three yeah, hours, yeah. it's not worth it. That makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. So, like, how much rice could you eat without being... Without feeling uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to eat all of this rice. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you manage on Survivor? On Survivor. So I would have given anything for rice, Jonas, out there. I would have given anything but they didn't give us rice no rice no rice no beans the only thing we got was the opportunity to grab as much as we could yeah on the boat on the boat before okay. we got to the so island. what kind of food did you have so we had some mangoes okay and we had some greens some like almost like collard greens uh-huh, uh-huh. and we, we got two chickens i okay. actually jumped into the water to get a chicken they didn't show nice. you that but i yeah, yeah, yeah. i rescued don't him. you hate it when temporarily you temporarily awesome. rescued him <laughs> and then, and then they like it. don't show it and you <laughs> right? i promise guys and your friends are like sure, sure yeah. you did mm-hmm. it right yep, exactly yep. so <laughs> how how do you control yourself with the whole diet thing like what are there any tricks that's that a good you question use? Yeah. no that's a good question so what it came down to was yes i gorge on things that are good for me like this uh-huh. won't hurt me i'm not yeah, gonna yeah. feel bad after mm-hmm. i eat this and i know i might be a little full yeah. but i'm not gonna feel bad i learned to play the video to the end meaning okay i eat a donut but then i feel bad for two or three hours uh-huh. it's not worth it that yeah. five minutes of joy is no longer worth Oh, interesting. Three hours of pain. So you play the pain video in your head before you even eat the donut. Right. Before I eat the donut or the cheesecake. Okay. It's, okay, okay, this feels good now, but how are you going to feel for the next three hours? Do you even care about the next three hours? And the answer is yes, I do. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, but do you have like a cheat day or something? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's usually Sunday. Okay, so tell me in detail what that looks like. So my cheat day on Sunday, uh, it's still gluten-free, but I'll make gluten-free waffles. Okay. Lots of syrup. I'll have a couple fried eggs. Mm. Bacon. On top of the waffle. On top of the waffle, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, on top. With the yolk running. Oh, yeah. And with the syrup on top of the waffle. I I feel you, yeah. With a side of bacon. 
with a side of potatoes. Okay, nice. And my orange juice or mimosa. It depends on yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I literally go into a food coma. <laughs> No, I do. I just pass out. Two hours to take a nap in the middle of the day. That is awesome. (laughs) That's beautiful. It's totally worth it. (laughs) You know, I'm laughing with you because, you know, I do that. My cheat day is also on Sunday. Okay, okay. Because there's not a whole lot of work, so I can focus all on the food. Yes. And, okay, so (laughs) on Saturday night, are you like the type that like, okay, tomorrow. (laughs) Yeah, and you like plan it all out. When I told you that I love food more than sex, yeah. I'm not kidding, Jonas. I really do. Like, I look forward to it. I'm like, tomorrow's Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. So, Jennifer, seriously, one of the greatest meals I've ever had. And the company was amazing. Thank you for joining. Absolutely. And um, thank you for sharing your, your food stories and your love of food. <laughs> seriously, I feel like we've... Uh, grown a deeper connection just I agree. talking about the food so thank you thank I you agree. where can people find you so i'm on facebook twitter linkedin okay. every social media outlets okay. and you know what i love to hear i love to hear from genuine people yeah you love me or hate me uh-uh. i'm okay with that keep in mind that it is a human being on the other end yeah. reading it but i tend to engage in all of it because i, I want the full spectrum of life uh-huh and I just love hearing what people have to say. And I agree, this has been great. We've been friends for, what, five or six years now? Yeah. And I know you better from this one meal. This is proof that eating together totally. bonds people. Totally. Absolute proof. We're I on the right it. track then. Right? I agree, yes. Beautiful. No, I appreciate that, and I appreciate your philosophy on life. I will put the notes in the show of where people can find you. Okay. But thank you so much, seriously. Of course. You're awesome, and rock on, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.